Hello guys, welcome back to CBox Tutorial Channel and this is our example number 3 for chapter 1, Live Loads of Structural Theory 1. A two-story light storage warehouse has interior columns that are spaced 12 feet apart in two perpendicular directions. If the live loading on the roof is estimated to be 25 pounds feet squared, per feet squared, determine the reduced live load supported by typical interior column at A sa ground floor level and at B sa second floor level. So, siguro gamitin na lang natin itong ano, sa ating problem number 2. Ayan. Kasi syempre tamad ako. <laughs> Ayan. Pwede tayo mahirapan at magtagal. Oops. So, ito yung ating building. So, this is ground floor, second floor, and then yung ating roof beam level. So, dito sa roof beam daw natin, andito yung ating loadings na 25 pounds per feet squared. Then again, so guys, sa ating problem number 2, hindi natin kailangan i-reduce ito. Ito kasing, ano na to, uh, roof live load is possible na galing sa ating truss. Kahit flat roof ba yan? Ah, kasi nakalagay sa problem number 2, flat roof, no? So, possible kasi na yung mga loadings na yan is galing sa iba't iba pa. No, hindi siya kagaya dito sa minimum live loads na nasa table natin. For example, ito sa, sa building na to, possible na ito ay galing sa truss. Yung mga loadings na yan. Then, sa iba yata, hmm, ano pa ba? Anyway, yan. Sige, yan na yan yung uh, loading natin sa roof. Pero kasi doon talagang in ano no, talagang diniskas pa no. Anyway, doon sa roof beam kasi nang pinag-design kami, um, ang minimum roof live load is 0.60 kilopascal or kilonewton per meter squared and we don't need to reduce that kasi galing siya sa sa bigat ng truss, ng purlins, ng kung ano na pa. Okay? Ayun. So ito ay 25 pounds per feet squared. And yes, hinahiyan na namin na yung inyong mga professor or, or instructor sa building design yung talagang uh, mag-discuss nun. Mas magandas talaga yung discuss yun dun. Okay, nagpalusot na. <laughs> But anyway, kidding aside, so saan tayo? Ayan. So yung ating ano daw, building is pinapagamit for light storage warehouse. Ayan light storage. So, kunin natin yung ating L-nut. So, L-nut, ano siguro? L-nut is equivalent to sa lightweight, 125 pounds per feet squared. Then, delete natin siguro to. Yan. Tapos, yung ating dimension dito is 12 feet. Ilan ba ang 12 feet? So, 12 feet divided by 3.28 para maging meters. So, this is a uh, 3.7 meters, no? But anyway, so 12 feet, then kunin natin yung ating tributary area. Ang tig kalahate, no? So, tig 6 feet and 6 feet. So, ang total pa rin natin dyan is 12 feet. So, area tributary is equivalent to 12 feet multiplied by 12 feet. So, this is 144 feet squared. So, therefore, ang ating influence area is equivalent to KLL multiplied by 80. Interior column to, so this is 4.0 multiplied by 144. So, 576 feet squared, which is greater than sa 400 feet squared. So, therefore, We need to reduce L naught. So, yung ating reduce live load is equivalent to L naught multiplied by 0.25 plus 15 over square root of our influence area. So, 125 multiplied by 0.25 plus 15 over square root of 
So, this is 109.375 pounds per feet squared. So, sabi rin sa code nga pala, dito na check no, sa ating problem number 2. Pero anyway, anyway, ma-check rin naman natin dyan. Ito. Dapat daw, ang ating reduced live load is greater than or equivalent to 40% dun sa 2 or more story building. So, ito. Sa ating problem number 2 ba? O, oh, di ba? Ano yan? Four levels yan. So, 40% ng ating, or 0.4 na lang, 0.4 ng 50. So, 20. So, since ang ating reduced live load dito is 25 at bigger than siya sa 20, so, pasok tayo. Okay na yan. So, dito kaya? 109.375. So, 0.40% or sorry, 0.4 of 125. So, 50. So, bigger than tayo sa 50 pounds per feet squared. So, pasok na tayo doon sa ating reduced live load. So, okay na to. Yan. Okay na yan. So, saan na? So, letter A. Para daw sa ground floor level. Nambura siguro to, no? So, para sa ground floor. Ito yun. Interior column. At GF, tapos ito naman, interior, column, at second floor level. So, para dito, ang dadalhin ng ating ground floor is yung live loadings natin sa second floor and then yung roof live load natin sa roof beam level. So, LT is equivalent to 109.375 para to sa second floor. And then, yung ating roof beam level live loadings, which is equivalent sa ah, so 25 feet or pounds per feet squared. So, siguro, i-multiply na natin sa ating tributary area, which is equivalent sa 144. So, 9,350. Divide na natin ng 1,000 para tips na lang siguro. Ito ah, hindi, depende naman sa professor nyo kung ano yung pinapakuha niya na unit. So, siguro para mas madali na lang siyang isulat, di ba? Hindi na masyadong malaki. E di, divide na natin ng 1,000 para maging tips. Pero kung pounds ang gusto ng professor nyo, e di, huwag nyo lang i-divide. So, this is 19.35 tips. And then, letter B. At second floor. So, second floor lang. Ang dadalhin lang niya is yung galing sa ating RB. Kasi yun yung dinadala niya dito. So, parang ganito siya. Ito yung ating P2F. Then, ito naman yung ating PGF. Yan. Ah, hindi na pala ito LT, no? Kasi ano na siya eh. Point load na siya. So, this is PGF. Then, ito naman P2F. It's equivalent sa 109. Ah, sorry. Hindi. Yung 25 lang pala to. 25 pounds per feet squared multiplied by 144. So, 36. So, divided by ano? 1,000. This is 3.60 uh, tips. And siya. Then, siguro, kung ang tinatanong naman is ilan yung total live load na ipapasa papunta dun sa foundation, yun na yun. Yung sa ground floor na mismo. Ito yun, 19.35 kips yung ipapasa papunta rito sa ating foundation or footing dun sa interior column. Okay. So, ganyan lang naman kasimple yung ating chapter 1 live load. So, sana marami kita tunan dito sa ating topic na ito. So, if you have a question, don't, uh, don't hesitate or don't be shy to ask questions in our comment section. So, if you enjoyed and learned from this video tutorial, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications and updates on our YouTube channel. So, thank you for watching. Bye-bye. God bless everyone.